Hi, um, this is me again, and today we're actually at my house, and uh, we're just about to go to the Glenn Harris show, which is uh, the sports talk. And so we're gonna show him how to make a kale shake that will be delicious, and then you can learn how to do that as well. And also we're gonna talk about synthetic vitamins. Um, you, I don't know if you know this, but 99% of all vitamins are made from petroleum. They're not made from actual food. Even the ones that say they're natural only have to be 10% natural ingredients. So we're going to communicate about nutrients and nutrition. I think you're going to enjoy this. So um, so enjoy. We have my wife, my wife Karen, in the, in the back seat. And uh, she's going to be helping us out today. She's going to be preparing a shake. Honey, did you bring this shake? Did you bring all the ingredients? I thought you were going to bring it. Oh my gosh. Well, we happen to have all the materials. I brought them. And we're going to prepare a really cool recipe for Glenn Harris. Now, Glenn Harris, typically, he says his diet's really good, but he does eat some junk. But he compensates by eating, taking a lot of vitamins. But we made sure that it's whole food vitamins. However, we're going to give him something that he can make, and you can make anytime you want. It's a kale shake made with banana, the water, very simple, but it's a good way to get kale consumed in your body. Kale is one of the highest nutrient type foods that you can get. In fact, one cup of kale would equal like about 10 cups of regular salad because it has lots and lots of vitamin A, K, C, and uh, calcium. You know, when I was in college, I would uh, I would drive from Wisconsin, Kenosha, Wisconsin, to Iowa, and I would typically get speeding tickets. And what I would do is I'd always deny it. I would say, you know, I'm not speeding, you know, and I would try to fight the police officer. And I always got a ticket until recently, um, which, by the way, I don't speed, but occasionally I I might kind of be a heavy heavy uh, heavy-handed on the uh, accelerator and um, so I got pulled over and this time what I did was I just totally said hey you know I was speeding I deserve a ticket here's my license I shouldn't have done it and the cop just said wow okay we're not we're just gonna give you a warning now so my tip if you ever get caught speeding which I don't recommend always don't ever deny it just acknowledge what you did, and uh, be willing to accept a ticket, and you won't usually get a ticket. That's your legal counsel. <laughs> That's my legal counsel for That's the day. That's fabulous. I'm sure that you're uh, going to appreciate not only your nutritional advice, but your legal counsel. See, I can give nutritional advice and legal counsel all the time. Legal advice. At the same time. We're back with Eric and Karen Bird from the uh, Health and Wellness Center in Alexandria, and all the studying that Eric does and stuff. He's married with a family, okay? He doesn't study all the time. He ain't sitting around not watching TV. They're telling him what's on TV. All right, Eric. Um, Mrs. Berg, would you reach over there, please, and get that green mess that I got to mm. drink in a second here? Mm. Yes, yes. All right, folks. Here we straw. are. I'll be 62 years old next month, okay? I'm hanging in there, man. I'm telling you. My knees are beat up and everything because I play a little ball. But here we go, okay? All my boys out there. This is what you should have been drinking. That's my boy. Ian, All right. we can do it. Ah, buddy. Ah. Enzymes mean what, Doc? Enzymes are things that are um, that help you break down food and they're necessary to keep your body healthy and they speed up reactions in the body. This stuff is called kale. This stuff has more nutrition per square little millimeter than pretty much any vegetable. It's a cruciferous type, right. but it has like vitamin A. One cup of this is 30,000 uh, international units. What about the, you know the berries that they were talking about on television, the ACAI berries, the Ikea? Ikea I, berries? Yeah, Ikea. Acai, I said we're saying it right. Acai. Yeah. Acai berries, yeah, acai, yeah. Acai, yeah. algae berries, yeah. Yeah. berries. Yeah. There's a real big thing now with the antioxidants, and there's no doubt that it has antioxidants, but 
it's not part of the essential nutrients that you need. They, they, they're not talking about the food. They're talking about some berry that's going to supposedly increase your health. There's no doubt it might increase it for about this much. Mm. But what's missing is your diet. You're not looking at having enough of the good things in the diet. Mm. So if you have a hard time doing a program, the first step to do is forget taking anything out of the diet. Just put the good stuff in for about two weeks. So in other words, before you eat anything, you eat the good stuff. And then if you're still hungry, then maybe have the bad stuff. But your cravings will go away as you increase the nutrition in your body, making it easier to complete it and stick to it long term. Right. That's going to do it for this edition of Sports Talk. Thanks for joining us. For Eric and Karen uh, and the entire channel. I'll we'll see you all tomorrow. I'm Glenn Harris. We go in friendship. Because that's what it's all about. And eat, eat good. Let me Start take eating. Care of that. Eat organic. <laughs> okay. My brother, my good friend. Take care. See you. See you. All right. People, you don't want a diabetic episode. I said, if it's bad, you will, if you've ever been tired in your life, add triple tired to that. You wake up tired. But I've been doing this for a long, 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 long time. So, um, and you, you know, you people always say, well, how do you know? You don't get sick. I mean, right. you're not sick all the time. You don't have your body full of acid all the time. You alkaline your body, you don't get all, you know, so people see me in the streets and say, man, you know all that stuff? Oh, not really. I don't know all that. I just know what I do. And I know basics, you know. I want to know something I'll call you. I tell people all the time, you do not die for nothing. You die because you're sick. People, oh no, he was in good health. No, he wasn't. Something was wrong. He may not have known it. But you don't die for nothing. I just discipline myself to the point where I haven't had a candy bar, and I love candy bar. And I keep telling people the way you break the habit is to say you love it, but you don't want okay. it. <clears throat> For the Berg Health Show, I'm Glenn Harris. See you next time. <laughs>